Okay, test, test. Test, test. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate in the material science program at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So I also took my bachelor's of science in pharmaceutical chemistry at this institution as well. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or tutoring, then just check out the links in the description below. Okay, so we're going to get started with um, our set of questions for today. Okay, so the first question asks, uh, what must the ratio, I'm assuming that's of, H2PO4 minus B to HPO4 2 minus have a buffer with a pH value of 7. So I'm just, I'm assuming it just means what should the ratio of those two be to have a buffer with a pH value of 7. Okay, so this is question number 1. And then the first thing we're going to do, um, let's just write out the reaction that goes on. So we have our H2PO4 minus the aqueous. It's going to react with water, which is a liquid. And then it's going to form H3O plus plus the HPO4 2 minus aqueous. Okay, so now we're just going to figure out which one's our acid and which one is our base. So again, let me just change the color. The H2PO4- minus will be our acid, and here the water will act as a base. Okay, so I'll just give the bronsted lowry definition of acid. So it's the one that donates the proton. And then the base is our proton acceptor. Okay, and just for good measure, we'll also find out which one's our conjugate acid and our conjugate base. So after the H2PO4- minus donates one of its protons, then the H3O plus becomes our conjugate acid, and then this is our conjugate base. Okay, so so you can see that already our question starts off with phosphoric acid that has already lost one of its hydrogens to have H2PO4 minus. So I need to find the Ka value for H2PO4 minus. So let me just look that up. Okay, so that's what it is for H3PO4, but we're looking for the one associated with the H2PO4 minus. Okay, so it's going to be this 6.2 times 10 to the negative 8 value. Okay, so after that, we can now calculate for pKa. To do that, it's just going to be negative log of our Ka value. So let's just plug the values in. Okay, 
Okay, so then you get a PKL, PKA value of around 7.2 for H2PO4 minus. So then the second step to answer this question is to calculate the ratio of acid to conjugate base by using the Henderson Hasselbach There's a K there. It's an H. Henderson Hasselbach equation. So you use this formula right here to do that, where pH is equal to pKa plus the log of the concentration of our conjugate base over the concentration of our acid. Okay, so I'm going to plug these values in. We want to have a pH of 7. We calculated the pKa to be 7.2. And then since we're just looking for the ratio of H2PO4 minus to HPO4 2 minus, which is our acid and conjugate base. Uh, I'm just going to leave these as is. Well, actually, I'll just specify the, uh, the compound. So our conjugate base is the HPO4 2 minus over the concentration of our acid, which is H2PO4. Four minus. Okay, so now we're just going to solve for this ratio just by doing some math. And then to get rid of the log, we're going to do 10 to the power of both sides. So it's going to look like this. So then we end up getting this value as um, 0 0.63. But I'm just going to write up here. Uh, the question's asking ratio of H2PO4 minus to HPO4 minus. So I'm just going to switch that around. So therefore, So 
So it's going to be uh, 1 divided by 0 0.63 just to get uh, the ratio of our acid on top. It's going to be 1.59. Okay, so let's look at the answer that our junior tutor wrote. So they have the K for phosphoric acid. K1 is 7.1. The second is the 6. Point. They have 6.3, but I got 6.2. It doesn't really matter. They still got 7.2 as their pKa. And then next they use henderson hasselbach equation. They got the 0 0.63. And then they did the ratio that I did as well. They even took into account the significant figures. So this solution is correct. Okay, so solution is... Thank you.